All right, in order to 3D print these parts, I'm just gonna pick a random part here in this case, but in order to 3D print your parts for uh, the many projects we do, um, we need to have them exported as an STL file. All right, so to make that happen, we have to go down here to the bottom where the part is that you want to export. I'm going to pick the 122 cube, and then you're going to select export, and you're going to go to the file format. And probably the first time you click this, it won't show up as the selected type. So go way down to the bottom of the list, STL at the bottom. Um, units should be in inches, as long as you did the part. And, well, it should be in inches. Uh, resolution. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select fine for now. Um, and then for the options, you can just do a download. You don't have to do download and store. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit export. Um, export parts as individual files. That's fine too. Hit export. And then it's going to ask you, where do you want to save it? And I apparently have a lot of places on my iPad. You could save it to your Google Drive, wherever. But save it somewhere where you can then upload it to... Um, to canvas so if you want to you could just make a folder for it you know you could just call it on shape done so I got my on shape folder somewhere up oh, there and I'm gonna save it there and then when you go to canvas to upload um, and then you can just go onto your iPad and pick that file all right hopefully that helps you guys if it doesn't make sure you uh, message one of your teachers and figure out how that works.